<laughs> What's up, ah. you beautiful motherfuckers? <laughs> Get the hell out of here! You can't even script this shit! You can't. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? One in six, I wanted to shove a two by four up my ass. Six weeks later, five and one, are you shitting me? Good morning, everybody! Good morning. Where do, where do we want to start, huh? Where do we want to start? What is happening Draft the cocaine. in Detroit right now? You're damn right, Fish. Draft the cocaine. It was on full display on Sunday. Your cocaine, Detroit, was on full display. Panay Sewell looking like Justin Jefferson towards the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and then pimp slapping. James Houston, another the sack. Vikings Aiden Hutchinson afterwards. with another sack. Yes. Goodness me. What, what a fantastic weekend. Credit to the Lions. Oh, a 34-23 win. They were, they were phenomenal. I, mm-hmm. That was... I know we've been doing this for what? It's been six weeks now. They've been playing some of their better football. They've been one of the more complete teams. I think we can all agree on that, right? We're all watching the same stuff here. But somehow, some way, this, this coach, Dan Campbell, uh, is coaching better week by week. I mean, two weeks ago, we said it was one of his better coaching performances, if you recall that. Hell, even last week, complete game, 60 minutes. Oh, my goodness, Dan Campbell finally coming along. That was the most complete game we've seen in Detroit in 20, 30 years. And then he follows it up with this week, division rival, 10-2, and two, Minnesota Vikings visiting town. Mm-hmm. And you guys all remember week three, that awful feeling towards the end. You lose that game. It really sets a bad tone for your season to start. And then Minnesota come back around, and you whoop their ass. You whooped their ass, and yes, they they gained a bunch of yards on you. Yes, Justin Jefferson went off. Who cares? Your offense continues to be, in my opinion, the best offense in the league. Not because you have the best quarterback, not because you have the best wide receiver, but you have one of the most complete offenses in the NFL with a young offensive coordinator, Jeff, who continues to impress. Yeah. And that's the bigger thing to take away, right? As much positive as you've seen yesterday, the big thing was that offense. And the Detroit Lions PR tweeted out yesterday, the Lions have scored 25-plus points in five straight games for the first time since 1954. That ties the single-season franchise record. So the offense, Jared Goff made some beautiful throws. The first one to Jamison Williams. uh, The second one to DJ Chark. They had explosive plays which is something that helped them out because they weren't able to run the football as effectively as we've seen so far this season. But those explosive plays helped. And Jared Goff, man, he made some beautiful throws. Jared Goff, man of the hour, man of the morning. Jared Goff, what a performance by him. He has been, he's been on one for six games now. In the six-game stretch, mm-hmm. he's been phenomenal. I, doesn't turn the ball over. Efficient on third down. Jamison Williams, how about round of applause, everybody, this morning? (laughs) Jamison Williams batting 1,000 at the moment. (laughs) One catch, one touchdown, and that's all you need to know. And if you paid attention, that was probably one of the very few snaps he got where he was on the field running a route. They're still going to work his way in, but the fact that they used him and they got a touchdown out of him. And it was the first touchdown of the game. That was... And it, looked, it just all came together. And it was ironic about that play is it, it looked like the route that K.J. Osborne beat the Lions with at Minnesota. It, it was a similar route. And Jamison wide open for his first career touchdown. It was beautiful. And, yeah. and to talk about Goff for a second, last six games, Lions have won five out of the last six games. Jared Goff, during that stretch, 10 touchdowns, one interception. You can't ask nothing more from Goff. He's, he's taking care of the football. He's making big-time throws. Exciting. And he's been a big reason why they've been, they've been successful. This is so very exciting. This team right now is playing excellent football. Complete football. Yes. Offense, defense, special teams. They shut down. Aaron Glenn's down. turned it around. Really? This pass rush. You know, for most of the game, uh, look, uh, let's all be honest. For most of the game, that pass rush was, quote, non-existent. It wasn't getting home. It was forcing a few errant throws from Kirk Cousins, but not not so much. And then towards the end, and again, this is why you draft Aiden Hutchinson. This is why when you go back to March of last year, or excuse me, this past year, excuse me, we're still in 2022, and you have me sitting up here like a jackass saying draft the cocaine, and you, know, you guys are laughing. This is why. Because in passing, obvious passing downs, who's the guy that's going to get after the quarterback? And what do you know? Aiden Hutchinson on a drive alone shuts down an entire drive. Forces the Vikings to take three by himself. No problem. Shows up. 
in the backfield, stopping the run. Dalvin Cook, you, hold, you held him to 25 yards. And what was the key to victory on Friday? What did we talk about? Stopping Dalvin Cook. It wasn't about stopping Justin Jefferson. Right. You need to understand something about offenses. And you need to understand something about your own offense. You guys can learn a lot about this. You are much more effective in play action sets than any other team in the NFL. Jared Goff is one of the two or three best quarterbacks in the NFL statistically right now on play action passes. The most touchdowns. Top three in yards. Top three, I believe, in completion percentage. And he's very rarely turned the ball over on play action. Jared Goff has been exceptional. Why is that important? Well, you take away play action from Kirk, you make them one-dimensional. Dalvin Cook was not a factor. Andrew, uh, excuse me, Madison was not a factor. And what that allow you to do, Jeff? It, lo- it allowed you to say, all right, you're going to throw the ball, but we're going to get after you. Yeah. And towards the end of the third here, and really the entire fourth quarter, they were on Kirk Cousins, Jeff. Yeah, and here comes James Houston. Here comes Aiden Hutchinson. I mean, here comes Bugs for the, the, the strip, the forced fumble on Dalvin Cook. They tried to get pretty there, uh, and, and Bugs capitalizes. But James Houston, want to talk about him for a second. Three games, four sacks. He's had a, at least one sack in every game he's played so far. And uh, just to remind everybody, he is a six-round draft pick. Picked overall 217th. So, again... Guys you know, we, are making plays. For, for, Guys are making plays. Forget the individual players. Uh, I want to be selfish a little bit. We made money this weekend. We made money this weekend. Whether oh, it was Nolan, what? Nolan, I saw you on Twitter. You sent me your screenshot of your bet you had on the Lions. Well done, buddy. I saw that. We made money on this team. And I told you Friday, the absolute lock in the NFL was not the Lions to win. It wasn't the Vikings to win. It was that over. Because at Ford Field, this offense clicks. And you know you're getting at least 30 from the Lions, and that's exactly what they gave you. That over hit, I felt like a king. Oh, my goodness. I've never been been happier with myself, Jeff. Uh, I could kiss me right now. I I I could could, fuck me at this moment. I could kiss me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You you want to fuck? I'm down. I'm uh, I'm open to any and everything this morning. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Guys, think about it. You started this season one and six. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, oh man, that is, that is. Oh God, damn it, dude. Oh wait, hold up, There's hold up. Kids you, watching you the too show, low. man. What are you? What are you? The Lions. The Lions. It's happening, Daddy. My goodness, I can't believe what I'm watching. And to speak on Justin Jefferson, I mean, he had a day. We expected that. I mean, we, we talked about that. But, again, it's not about the full 100 yards the Lions gave up, which nearly all of that was through the air. But it, a lot of it had to do with Akuda. I mean, he missed practice this week. He was sick. Uh, Dan Campbell talked about it. He's ready to go. But, clearly, he had to go back and, and sit on the sidelines. So, you had Amani Awarie out there. Uh, no Will Harris. It, it was tough. I mean, they were, they were struggling. But, overall, <laughs> it, it was a performance. It's, it's not about the yards they gave up. It's about capitalizing. Oh. And they took advantage of that. They scored 30, like we predicted, at least, and their defense was bend, don't break. They gave up a ton of yards, but they made plays when they needed to. Um, but watching Amani, man, it's, it's frustrating. Looking, looking at the complete 180 Amani has done from, so since last let's year. Let's look at the trend over the last six weeks. He just weeks. hasn't played many foot, much football. Over the last six weeks, outside of Buffalo, has Dan Campbell ever been in the headline for uh, a coaching decision or a, a fourth down decision? Or a, let's say, a clock or game management right. type mistake. No, he hasn't. Who has been, though? Matt Eberflus? Matt LaFleur? Yeah. Right? You had it even happen with Doug Peterson. And then yesterday, Kevin O'Connell, who had been excellent all season. And why were Minnesota 10-2? and two? Because out of all the one-position games they played, they never truly made those mistakes that kill you at the end. And what do you know? It was Kevin O'Connell making the mistakes. See, the thing you need to understand about the NFL, you don't always have to go out and, quote, win. Just don't shoot yourself in the foot. Give yourself an opportunity to win. And over the last six weeks, the Lions have been doing absolutely that. Alex, is Fish's camera working? Because if it is, I want to see that shirt. <laughs> Throw it up on the screen. Let's Fish, flex. Let's see it. Flex for everybody at home, please. Every, no, no, everybody wants to see the, mu- the, the muscles. Co- no, they don't. Traffic yes, they cocaine. do. No. Flex them. Flex them, damn they're, it. They're this, is, this is a direct order. They're not existing. Flex, there, flex the, the yogurt that you have That's sitting all, there on your biceps. All, Come on, buddy. That's all you're getting. And maybe... 
few of those. That's it.